The sun was setting over the Nile, casting a golden glow over the land of Egypt. A young woman stood on the balcony of her palace, gazing at the horizon. She wore a white linen dress and a crown of gold and turquoise. She was so Sobonifo, the first female pharaoh of Egypt. She had inherited the throne from her brother, Amenemhat IV, who had died without an heir. She was the last ruler of the Twelfth Dynasty, a period of prosperity and stability for Egypt. She had no husband or children, but she had the support of the priests and the nobles. She had proven herself to be a capable and wise leader, overseeing the construction of temples, monuments and irrigation projects. She had also maintained peaceful relations with the neighboring kingdoms of Nubia and Kush. She was proud of her achievements, but she also felt lonely and restless. She wondered what the future would bring for her and her people. She knew that her dynasty was coming to an end, and that a new era of chaos and turmoil was looming. She wished she could find a way to secure her legacy and ensure the continuity of her bloodline. She turned to her trusted adviser, a man named Senemet, who had been her tutor and mentor since she was a child. He was a loyal and intelligent man, who had risen from humble origins. To become one of the most powerful figures in the court, he had helped her in many ways, both in public and in private. He was also the only man who had ever touched her heart. Senemet, what do you think of my reign? She asked him. He bowed his head and replied, Your Majesty, you have been a great pharaoh. You have brought glory and honor to your ancestors and to Egypt. You have done more than any man could have done. She smiled and said, Thank you, Senemet, you are too kind. But tell me, do you think I have done enough? Do you think I have fulfilled my destiny? He looked into her eyes and said, Your Majesty, you have done everything that was expected of you, and more. But there is one thing that you have not done, one thing that only you can do. She raised her eyebrows and asked, What is that, Senemet? He took a deep breath and said, Your Majesty, you have not given Egypt an heir. You have not chosen a husband or a consort. You have not borne a child. She sighed and said, Senemet, you know why I have not done that. You know that I have no interest in marriage or motherhood. You know that I have devoted myself to my duty and to my people. You know that I have no love for any man, except for you. He smiled and said, Your Majesty, I know that. And I am honoured by your love, but you must also think of the future. You must think of the fate of Egypt. You must think of the divine order that you represent. You must think of the role that you have as a woman and as a queen. She frowned and said, Senemet, what are you trying to say? He moved closer to her and said, Your Majesty, I am trying to say that you have a choice. A choice that only you can make. A choice that will change the course of history. A choice that will make you the world's first. Queen. She looked at him with curiosity and asked, What choice? Senemet. He took her hand and said, your Majesty, you can choose to marry me. You can choose to make me your husband and your co-ruler. You can choose to share your power and your throne with me. You can choose to have a child with me. A child who will inherit your blood and your name. A child who will be the heir of Egypt and the founder of a new dynasty. A child who will be the world's first king, she gasped and said. Senemet, are you serious? Do you realize what you are asking me? Do you realize what that would mean? He nodded and said, Your Majesty, I am serious. I realize what I am asking you. I realize what that would mean. It would mean a revolution. It would mean a challenge to the established order. It would mean a risk of opposition and rebellion. It would mean a gamble with fate. But it would also mean a chance, a chance for love. A chance for a happiness, a chance for glory, a chance for a new world. He kissed her hand and said, Your Majesty, you have the power to make this choice. You have the power to make this dream come true. You have the power to make history. You have the power to be the world's first queen. 
He looked into her eyes and said, Your Majesty, what do you say? She looked into his eyes and said, Senemet, I say yes.